What is the worst thing you've overheard while pretending to be asleep? Before I got divorced. Was laying in bed late, 11 am or so, on my day off, after a long string of I think 10 or so work days in a row. My ex, who refused to get a job, was in the next room playing a video game, and I heard him say that motherfucking bitch is still sleeping. The motherfucking bitch paying all the bills so you can sit on your ass 24 7. Yikes. Glad you got out of there. Oh my gosh, nearly the same thing happened to me. Except my ex-husband was bitching on the phone to someone, I think his mom. How I was still sleeping so he hadn't had breakfast yet. I overheard my mom trying to calm my dad down out of a suicidal fit. My brother and I had been really bad that day and when he grounded us, we both told him that we hated him and wanted him to go away, he didn't do anything wrong, my brother and I were just a couple of immature little assholes. He, I'm pretty sure that he was blackout drunk at this point, which I had never seen and still haven't saw since then, walked into our room that night and I pretended to fall asleep. Then he just started these deep, haunting sobs that I'll probably never forget. He stumbled outside and we could hear him begging my mom to let him die and sobbing all I've ever wanted in my entire life was to be a better dad than mine. I was only 11 or so but it fucking destroyed my heart. I think that's the time I learned that emotional pain can actually physically hurt. I was hunched over in my bed crying my eyes out and on the verge of throwing up, I also felt like an asshole for crying over what we said to our dad. My brother was thankfully able to sleep through it all. I think about that once every two weeks or so and I always message him to tell him I love him. I hope he forgot about it, but being a dad myself now, I don't think it's something you totally forget. It might not hurt like it did in the moment, but I don't think you forget. Like most heartbreaking things I guess. This hurt my soul. Did you ever apologize to him etc? Yes, both of us painted pictures with apologies on them the next day. I don't think he knows that I heard him crying and begging to die, I don't think he'd want to know that I heard it, even now after all this time. My friends talking about going into my wallet later and steal my money, and then leave before I notice. I kicked them out. My mom and aunt talking, thinking ten-year-old me was asleep. Aunt, little, my name, is so cute. Mom, no, he's not very good looking at all. Oh, I had the same experience, but the difference was that I wasn't asleep and my mom said that in front of me. On a class trip, I heard a girl talk badly about me to the other girls in my room, saying I was a retard and too dumb to stand up for myself. She said the only reason she didn't bully me out of this school was because she needed me to help her with my homework. Then my best friend stood up for me. She said that I wasn't dumb and just a bit shy, and then told her to fuck off. I was a female camp counselor. Two girls very much liked to make hot or not lists. One of them suggested that a male camp counselor was hot, and the other said he was saying mean things about me behind my back, which made him not hot. Hurt to hear that from my campers, but glad they supported me. I overheard my mom on a payphone, begging her boyfriend for more heroin. Edit, my mom was driving around town late at night, probably trying to score, and I was sleeping in the passenger seat. She stopped at a parking lot, I woke up and pretended to be asleep. This was back when pay phones were in convenience store parking lots everywhere, mid-90s. Edit 2, last I heard, my mom is clean and doing well enough. I haven't talked to her in almost 20 years, it's healthier for me that way. My sister got drunk and I heard a loud thud and she blacked out, two of her friends and my mom and dad were shouting at each other and they were saying to shut up cause they didn't want to wake me up and they were all crying thinking she was dead and I couldn't tell my sister I was happy she didn't die. Now I appreciate seeing her every week. I think she died. 
Shut up you're gonna wake up Fox underscore fails. Sounds like the right priority, lol. I was 9 at the time so they were probably right not to let me see her like that. They made the right decision. My dad died when my niece was about the same age and living in the house. He died of natural causes, but my stepmom still ran to get my sister to do CPR instead of shouting so my niece didn't have to see her grandfather like that. I know people are giving you a hard time, but I didn't choose to see my dad's body even though I was in college. I hope my niece was protected from the same sight in similar circumstances to your own. I have never been able to ask. My walls were thin. I could hear almost anything. My parents argued in what they thought was a quiet voice. About divorce. Then my dad says you can keep the kid. He annoys me. The next week they told me and signed the papers. My then stepmom's nephews talking about what they would do to me sexually if given the chance. I was 14, they were 17, 19 and 21. Thankfully the window to the motor home was slightly open, and my dad heard the entire thing. I was scared of boys for a long time after that. Edit, thank you everyone for your comments of support. A lot of people are asking what happened after. This all happened while we were camping on the Oregon coast. My dad ripped them a new one, and that was the end of it. About a year later, the youngest one tried to grope me when I was trying to sleep, but I was able to cover myself and he gave up. The next day I told him I knew what he tried to do, and I would tell my dad if he didn't stop. He acted like he didn't know what I was talking about, but he never tried again. A year or so after that, they got divorced and I never had to see her or her crazy family again. I'm so sorry for those of you who have similar stories. It's been almost 30 years since this incident, and I feel like I have a very healthy view of relationships now. I hope you all are happy and healthy too. Something like she's too old for this, I'm not going to carry her up to bed anymore. That was the last time I was magically transported from the living room couch to my bedroom. That I was dying with meningitis. But the doctors were wrong. I'm still alive. While I was waiting for an endoscopy I heard the doctor and two students discussing what might be wrong with me, at 26, their main thought was that I had some sort of stomach cancer. That made me nervous as hell. Luckily that wasn't the case and I'm all better now. I wasn't pretending to be asleep per se, but I was well on my way. I was under anesthesia and was fading in and out. I remember closing my eyes to help move things along. I was in a lot of pain because my appendix ruptured. This happened years ago, so I can't remember all of the details, unfortunately. I remember being moved over to an operating table and they told me to take my shirt off, I think. I heard someone go, what do you think would happen if I poked her belly button right now? I was an outie prior to having an appendectomy. They went through my belly button so that is no longer the case. Anyway, someone, very quickly, responded, dude, that is not funny. Remember what happened the last time? It's possible I was starting to dream, but I remember it making me feel a mix of amusement and anxiety. No wonder people at school think he's gay, my stepmom. Are you gay? Nope. But 8 year old me didn't know that. When I was around 8 years old I was supposed to be asleep but I snuck downstairs to get milk or something. I heard talking going on downstairs so I stood still and listened. My mom was talking to my brother about how much of a problem I was and how she hated me. She always liked my brother more. I just silently crept back upstairs and cried myself to sleep good times. I wasn't pretending to be asleep so much as they assumed I was asleep. My in-laws thought I was still napping after dropping my kid off at school, and they started to shit-talk me. They said I was a terrible mom, 
I didn't care about my kids at all and they better buy a cake because I would rather sleep all day than make him a cake. It was his birthday and my god, it was only 10 am, it doesn't take that long to make and frost a cake for him. Anyways, I cried in my room for two hours before they left to buy groceries ea drink themselves into a stupor, before I got up and made the cake and birthday dinner my child asked for. I didn't tell my husband what they said until a week later because I didn't want to ruin his or my child's day. I have a funny story. It was during college. Woke up from creaking of roommate's bed, I shoot up to see what the hell is going on. There I see some woman on her back with her legs full spread eagle and my roommate just pile driving it like it was his last day on earth. Like a good bro I quickly lie back down and pretend to be asleep. Her, in between gasps of air, is your roommate awake? Him, nor, he can sleep through anything. Cut to next morning. I casually get up and turn on my PlayStation 2 and start playing some random game. Roommate's girl, it turns out I knew her, gets up and casually comes over and sits next to me. Her, good morning, my name. Me, good morning, her name. Her, did you sleep good last night? Me, yeah, I can sleep through anything. As the last word left my mouth I immediately realize I blew it. She began a huge flurry of slaps at my roommate while cursing at him. He didn't care because he was too busy laughing the whole time. Former roommates were planning to kick me out. Did they do it? Yep. Squandered your advantage. Should have used your secret knowledge to get the drop on them and kick them out first. Call the moving truck, but not for me. Did they? like, have reasons or anything. Well when I moved in I was coming from a fully furnished apartment. So I had couches and other stuff. I was supposed to rent the basement where they had a rest area. But the guy said I could put my couch down there. So I put it four feet away from the TV. Basically a eighth of the basement. But he got upset that I was always down there playing video games and drinking even though his cousin who lived there drank two X's more as I did. Paid less and had a bigger room. My female roommate's boyfriend, and his friend came into my room when they thought I was asleep. It was warm and I was sleeping naked with minimal blanket coverage. I pretended to sleep. They proceeded to talk about my body and how it was anyone's type. Also how easily it was to drug ladies these days. Oh and also the friend, talked about how easy it would be to steal and sell my boyfriend's boat motor that he had stored in the room. Yeah so they were kicked out and friend became an ex-friend because she was pissed I'd let my boyfriend kick them out. Parents talking about plans for when they were going to have sex. What were the plans? My dad coming home from work at lunchtime the next day to do it while we kids would be at school. When I got back from school that day, I couldn't look my parents in the eyes. Let mommy kiss you, hello. No thanks mom. I overheard my mom having an affair with her fiancé's best friend, who was married. In the same room that I was sleeping in. I was like 10 years old. Don't feel too bad. My mom banged some random guy on my bottom bunk while I was on the top bunk. I was probably 8 or 9 at the time. I mean loud, vocal, crazy sex. Looking back I assume she was either wasted or just didn't give a shit, can't ask her now because I haven't seen her since I was around 12 to 13. Anyway just thought I'd share. I remember way back I couldn't sleep on Christmas Eve, you know, being a little kid and all. So during this sleepless night where I guess my parents thought I was asleep, I heard my dad say where do you think we should hide the new puppy. That was pretty much at the top of my list, so naturally I was excited that I was getting a puppy. They talked for a good 20 minutes about the puppy, saying things like how should we keep it from barking before he finds him. Before I dozed off. 
Next morning, I discovered that my parents knew I was awake and just decided to kidding me. There was no goddamn puppy. I got a Game Boy though, so it wasn't too bad. What's the worst thing you heard pretending to be asleep? Leave a comment. And subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more same videos.